Hi everyone, I'm Akila. In this video, let us see how to implement conditional formatting in a matrix for each row. So here we have a matrix where it is giving the unit sold, the quantity per country and for each segment. So this is our requirement where they want different background color for each different country. So how do we achieve this? We achieve this by using a measure. So let us write a measure first and then we will implement the conditional formatting. So let me name this measure as country color code equals. Let me use a switch functionality where I can call the country column to check whether it's specific country and call respective conditions. So let me execute. Okay, let me... Click Alt Enter. Okay. I'm using the function max to get the each row country column to validate and execute respective conditions. So in the financials table, we have country column. So I'm validating whether this, if suppose this case financial country is equals to France, then execute this result. Okay. So what is this result? In this result, I'm writing if condition to check the quantity number. If sum of financials unit sold. Unit sold is the one which is giving us a quantity which is being used in this matrix. So if sum of this unit sold is less than 500, then please display as red color written red color if we if this particular measure returns a color the conditional formatting will use that value as a background or an icon or whatever it is as of now we'll do background right i'll show you where to enable that conditional formatting so i'm returning a color so return type should be a proper color for this so else else is another if condition I'm writing if con if condition inside this if condition. So sum of financials units sold is greater than or equals to 500 and sum of financials units sold is less than 1000. See, if it is less than 1000, yellow. Less than 500, red. It means if it is greater than 500 and less than 1000, it should be yellow color, right? So, I am returning yellow. Okay? If, for this first if condition, this is the expression and if it is true, it will execute this. If it is false, it will execute this everything. So in this second one, I wrote another if condition where it will check whether the sum of financials is greater than or equals to 500 and less than 1000. I'm returning yellow and comma. If this fails, then for a safe side, I'm checking whether the sum of financials units sold if we wrote once, we can reuse this code for other countries. So it will be easy. So if it is less than 500, greater than, five, greater than or equals to 500 and less than 1000 is yellow, greater than 1000 is red. Greater than or equals to 1000, then green. Else leave as it is white. Based on this closure, you'll understand. And this is which case else condition. I'm not formatting anything. Fine. Now, let me copy this case, the complete case and value. Paste it. Now, I'm renaming the country to Mexico. 
if you notice here the both conditions are same for france and mexico so i'm leaving this condition as it is let me copy paste this alt enter paste it and canada my third validation okay if it is less than thousand red color okay if it is greater than 1000 and less than 2000, yellow. Greater than or equals to 1000, less than 2000, yellow. And if it is greater than 2000, greater than or equals to 2000, green color. Fine. Enter. Now, let me use the same formatting for Germany as well. You may say that why can't we check whether this uh, country is in Canada and Germany. We don't know in future they may change this also, right? So it's better to maintain different cases so that whenever it is required, whenever it changes, we'll directly come here and update this. Okay, now let us write an update for US. United States of America. No. Let me minimize this. Yeah. If it is less than 1500. If it is less than 1500. Red. Okay. And if it is greater than 1500 and less than 3000. 1500 less than 3000 yellow and if it is greater than 3000 green greater than equal to 3000 green let me verify this yeah and so let us use this measure for conditional formatting of the matrix Let me select this matrix, go to the visualizations. See, this quantity is nothing but unit sold here. Right click, conditional formatting, background color. Under format style, you have an option field values. When you select this field values, it will ask whether to apply only to the values or totals and all. So this matrix got only values, there is no total. So I'm selecting only values now here is a place where you need to call the measure so our measure is country color code right select it okay see let me open this in the focus mode okay. let me zoom this and show you yeah see for this canada the third line, if it is 1000, red color, right? If it is less than 2000, yellow. Greater than 1000 and less than 2000. Greater than 2000, green, right? And with coming to the France, if it is less than 500, red, see? If it is less than 1000 and greater than 500, it's yellow. There is no value. So there is no yellow in this line. Greater than 1000, it's green. This is very useful in real time. There will be many requirements stating that they want different color coding with respect to background or an icon, some notation, whatever. But each row different. Hope this is useful. Thank you.